Hello, this is Danny Riley with today's Mr. Top Step Update. Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th. Hey, you know what? Overnight, the market's got a little jolt on the upside. The S&P opened sharply higher off of two things. The first is the approval of the bailout for the, the EU bailout for the Irish, and the second was the extension of the Bush tax cuts. You know, the thing is here, the markets are trending higher going into the end of the year, and it's got a lot to do with seasonals, which we've, which we've come out and said a couple of times that December is the best month for stocks since 1950. And the second part is all the money flow and people trying to chase stocks as the market goes up into the end of the year. This morning, the S&P gapped sharply higher, traded 11.35 even in the S&P, and just sold off down to the 27 even, which is a level, which is a level that... Jason Carter on our desk came out saying that he thought would be support. But the real gist of this, ladies and gentlemen, is one thing and one thing only. It's the rollover. And the rollover is not a good time for trading. It makes it very, very difficult because many of the big traders are not looking at putting positions on. They're, putting, they're looking at rolling positions forward. So what that does is that leaves everything kind of in a flux with very little trade on either side. Now, yesterday's total mini volume was only 1.34 million contracts. That, speak, that should speak for itself. As we go into the end of the year, people are going to probably start to take a little risk off the table, those guys that are, are long. And as, and, and, for, and as the stock market goes higher, it makes it even harder and harder to be a buyer as we continue up on this up, upswing that we've had. As far as volumes this go this morning, we had about, uh, at about 10.30, we had about 2,800 big S&Ps traded. And I think about 600 of that came from the S&P spread. So there's not a lot going on in the pit. But there were several buyers that came in on the open. J.P. Morgan, CCM bought 1,000 on the way down. A couple names did stick out, but for the most part, it just seems like it's a quiet day. As far as the remainder of the day goes, you know what? We're kind of stuck in that thing where the markets will gap up, sell off, and then try to kind of recover going into the later, later parts of the day. We suspect that that will be the case today. Again, we still are looking at the 1250, 1280 level on the upside. This is a level that we've been looking at and talking about for the last eh, month and a half or so. It's, it, 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 and it's got a lot to do with the seasonals and money flow. Really, that's where it all comes from. Is, you know, we don't really have a lot left to say for the rest of the day. It's quiet down there. But what we do want to say is that Mr. Top Step is going through a big retooling right now. And then we're hoping in the next couple of days slash weeks that we'll be able to unveil some of our new stuff, like the global, the global report that we've been putting out. It's had a huge turnout of people signing up for it. We, we would like to know that other people would continue to do that. It's a great way to look at the markets from a perspective of several good traders down on the tra trading floor here in Chicago that have certain techniques that they follow. Or, and this would be kind of some of the things that we've been trying to teach people as we go forward. Again, as, as far as the rest of the day, we suspect it's going to be very quiet. We kind of think that that will be that way for the rest of the week. We'll be back tomorrow with another Mr. Top Step update.